Hey there pranksters, welcome back to another gaming setup video, and the gaming station that I'm about to build will feature the brand new Xbox Series X, but before we get to that, let me announce the light goals and giveaways for this video. But before we get to that, let me announce the giveaway for this video. If this video gets 100 likes, I will give away a box of light strips to someone from the comments. This will definitely make your gaming setup stand out. To participate, just like and leave a comment below telling me which is your favorite game console and why. Good luck pranksters, now let's get to building this setup. Anyway guys, this whole setup will be based around the Xbox Series X, so let's get to unboxing this machine. Look at this beauty, it's the Xbox Series X, Microsoft went all out with its packaging this time around. I gotta say that I expected bigger but light and instead I got smaller but heavy. But this is a beautiful beast and I'll show you guys towards the end how the co-king of the console world takes its place in the gaming station that I'm about to put together. And everyone pretty much knows that the asking price for the system is 500 bucks plus taxes. But you know what guys, I gladly paid that. This is the room where I'll be setting up the new gaming station. It will be going on the left side of this window. As I've stated time and time again, I love black walls behind gaming setups. Since I wasn't too happy with the window being there, I went on Amazon and bought this tapestry for $17 and it was quite appropriate for this gaming room as you can see right here. Not only was it cheap but it served its purpose very well. It covered up the whole window and it gave it a more gaming room look. For this setup I brought in my GT Racing gaming disc. This disc is valued at $150 and the main reason why I chose to use this disc is its length. It offers plenty of room for all my new gadgets. On it I placed a giant mouse pad that goes with it. It was fitted perfectly. Right above the desk I wanted to hang up another tapestry. So again I resorted to Amazon for that and found this really cool looking astronaut tapestry which is one of my favorite poses of all time. I can't believe I only paid $12 for this. I used thumbtack to hold it up on the wall and that was it. For the other wall I bought some really cool gaming posters. For $17 I got this pack of 10 cool designs that every gamer should have. I'm only gonna use 3 of those and they best represent my Xbox gaming setup. To power up this gaming station I got this Aki power strip tower. For 50 bucks this is a must have for any gaming setup, especially if you have a lot of gadgets that need to get powered. This power strip comes with 2 USB type C ports, 3 USB A ports and 12 AC outlets. This is the ultimate charging station that will meet your needs for power. Altogether you can power up 17 devices at a time and this thing is more than capable of handling that. My favorite part is its appearance, it looks freaking awesome and it can conveniently hide in the background and still be accessible. Just plug it into any outlet and push on the top so it's on standby mode. I decided to keep this power strip tower on top of the desk. My main monitor of choice for this was this $160 24.5 inch AO pin full HD monitor. Although this monitor is cheaper than most, it does offer everything that the new Xbox Series X needs. 144Hz refresh rate and the response rate was at a perfect 1 millisecond. The stand for this was quite easy to set up. It was just a matter of sliding one side in and popping in the other side. This monitor will go right on the center of the desk. For my next monitor I'll need the help of a stand. So I resorted to this nifty Lamical tablet stand which I got for $19. It was very adjustable but it will stay put any way I want. It's perfect for your everyday tablets and iPads but I will use it for something else. This monitor can go on any gaming station. These typically go for $190 on Amazon. Although this monitor's cover transforms into a stand, I much rather use the Lamical stand as it will give me the view flexibility that I need when gaming. I will leave it on the left side of the main gaming monitor. On the opposite end of the desk I will be placing my MacBook and to prepare for that I did buy a stand for it. Let me introduce you to the Lamical laptop stand. Putting it together was very easy and simple, it was just a matter of adjusting a few screws in place and look at that guys. Not only is this a stand but a riser as well, it will give my MacBook the height it needs and it rotates so I can have the option of adjusting it any way that I want. It's the perfect laptop accessory and for 36 bucks, I just couldn't say no. As you can see it makes my MacBook look that much better and just so you guys know, if you like any of the items that you see in this video, remember that you can get your own as I have affiliate links in the description for these products featured in this video such as this Lamical laptop stand. 
Seeing as I would have so many gadgets and cables to keep track of, I needed something that would simplify my life. So that's why I resorted to this AV Access 4-in-1 KVM switcher. This metal box has all I need to make switching from devices that share the same monitor very easy and quick. For 86 bucks, you can avoid the hassle of dealing with cords and connections. This AV Access 4-in-1 HDMI switcher can become a gamer's best friend. This eMeet Luna computer speakerphone was sent to me not too long ago and at first I had no idea what it was and didn't think that I have much use for it but I gotta say that having one of these on a desk can become very essential especially if you're on calls often and you're surrounded by noise. For $90 you can get this Bluetooth speakerphone that not only makes conference calls much more bearable as it cancels out unwanted noise but it also allows for others nearby to join in on that conference. My headset of choice for this gaming setup was this Phil Canvas noise cancelling wireless headphones. When unboxing these I did not expect them to be packaged so elegantly. They came in this black zip up case. When I pulled them out they were very lightweight and although they look smaller than I thought they would be, I was still impressed by the feel of it, no pun intended. Although these are wireless, you do have the wired option of plugging them in, but overall it does come down to your preference. The price for this is on par with other top audio brands at $160 but you still get your money's worth with this one, especially if you're looking to experiment with a different brand. These fuel headphones will take the rightful place below the desk on the designated hook. A while back I unboxed the Fifine 678 USB microphone and it was just exactly what a small streamer needs when starting out, so I decided to bring those out again for this gaming station. I love the fact that it's small and that it's compact so it will fit just about anywhere but also it does come with quality functions that I would need to livestream on Twitch. The audio is way above average and if you know a thing or two about audio and how to process it, this little mic can do wonders for you. While on Amazon I looked for custom Xbox decor and the thing that caught my eye the most was this white Xbox logo wall light. The asking price was 27 bucks so it was a little up there for what you get inside this box. With this you get the option to hang it up on any wall or attach its clear stand on it to place it on your desk. You can also choose how to power it, either through USB or three AAA batteries. I chose to hang this up with the battery option. The darker the room is, the better the Xbox logo stands out. Since I still have this box of RGB lights that Nova Stella sent to me not too long ago, I decided to put them to use on this desk as well. This roll consists of 20 feet of lights. And as you can see there are many patterns that you can get with these lights. With just one click on the wireless remote you can go from one color to another in half seconds. These type of lights always make any gaming room pop. I especially like these Nova Stella lights for their music rhythm function. I wrapped this one around the end of the table and I even had enough left over to wrap around the back of the monitor. As I always say the more lighting the better. Since I like to watch videos on my phone while I'm either gaming or editing a video, I got this Aki Basics Pro series power power bank that not only powers my devices while I'm on the go but it also serves as a phone stand and in the process it charges my phone. While I sit back and watch a video or a movie, any device that supports a USB or USB Type-C port will get a fast charge at almost double the rate of a typical charger. This Aki Basics Pro series power bank typically goes for 30 bucks on Amazon but if you're lucky you might get it on sale for cheaper. Again guys as I stated before, I have affiliate links for these products in the description below. Last but not least I made room on the desk for the Xbox and this was the perfect spot for it. And that pretty much completes this epic Xbox Series X gaming setup. Just look at the Xbox guys, this thing looks amazing anywhere you place it. It more than delivers on being the best gaming console in the world. And now guys before I wrap up this video, I want to remind you about the giveaway I'm having. If this video gets 100 likes, I will give away a box of RGB lights to someone from the comments. To participate, just like and comment. Best of luck pranksters, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.